Okay, now we are in the small, quaint town of Point Reyes Station. We all know that Napa Valley is wine country, right? Well, where we are in Marin County might as well be known as mead country. Hey, Gordon, how hey, are you? That's good. Nice to have you here. Thanks. Glad to be here. This place is incredible. So you make mead here. Tell me a little bit about this place. Well, this is an old dairy farm that You're we've kidding. converted into a meadery. And a meadery what? is a winery that makes wine from honey instead of grapes. And it's one of the oldest beverages known to man. Yeah, I think the Vikings used to drink mead, right? Even predates that. Wow. So you got to have some bees around here. Can you give me a little tour of the place? I'd love to show you around. Right on. Gordon, the grounds on this place are stunning. I'm looking around at all your wildflowers, your sunflowers, roses, and these bees just working happily over here. That's right. Well, if we're going to produce wine from honey, we need to keep bees. So we've got these hives here, and the bees in those hives are going out to the flowers that we're growing out in our pastures and our meadows. They're collecting nectar from those flowers. They're taking it back to the hive, and they're making it into honey. At the end of a season, we can then harvest that honey and we can make it into wine. Wow, so this is where all the mead magic happens, huh? That's right. When we're ready to make a batch of mead, we take one of those honey barrels from our honey inventory, we bring it in here. Now we're producing mead in the method Champenois. That means we're using the traditional French method for making sparkling grape wine to make mead. So we're inoculating with a champagne yeast. We allow primary fermentation to occur, and that produces a base wine for us. It takes about a month, all in all, for that to occur here in these tanks, and then it's ready for bottling. There's a secondary fermentation that has to take place in the bottle. So uh, we put all these bottles into these tirage bins a couple of months ago, and what happened over that uh, time was the yeast from that secondary inoculation consumed a little bit of cane sugar that we put in there and uh, produced carbon dioxide, CO2. That is our effervescence. That's natural carbonation. That's how you make a sparkling wine. So Gordon, this is my favorite part of the whole experience when all the elements come together and now we have some beautiful flutes of champagne style mead in front of us. So tell me what we're tasting. Right, so this is the culmination of everything we've been looking at. So I'm gonna give you a pour of our estate varietal. This is our Point Reyes wildflower. All right, from the wildflowers we saw. So you, we saw those bees out there collecting nectar from the, from the flowers. This wine is made from the flower nectar that they collected and made into, into honey. That is quite unique and different from what I expected and absolutely delicious. You know, when you think honey, you think of something overpowering and sweet, but this is really crisp and light, and I taste the wildflowers. I really do. Indeed, indeed, and it's delicate and it's refreshing. There's some complexity due to the different flowers that the, the bees have gone to gather nectar from, and there's a lot to contemplate in that glass. I am gonna be contemplating for a while after this. This might just be my new favorite drink. Great. Thanks so much, Gordon. You bet. I really appreciate it. Pleasure.